Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. I have a Bath & Body Works unboxing that I wanna share with you all. My packages finally arrived. So this is the last little bit from SAS or yeah, pretty much SAS. So I really hope you guys enjoy this haul. Let's just get started. So I'm gonna start with this heavier box here. Um, let's open that one first. excited that these boxes are finally here so um, I did pick up some candles so that's what these are and let's see what they are so these are the boxes with the flaps so I don't have to worry about breaking another nail so that's great and I picked up Okay, so I picked up the Bahama Fizz three wick candle and take a look at the sticker design. Um, my opinion about this is that I don't know about that. I don't really want to say what I'm thinking as to what this picture looks like, but I'm not sure how they came up with this particular artwork for this. So. Um, the candle wax color is really pretty and I'm not too much a fan of the artwork on this one. That's just my opinion. Um, here are the scent notes. Fresh kiwi slices, island pineapple, coconut water, splash of rum. And why, the reason why I wanted to pick a few of these up, um, number one, this candle was $6 and some change. It was 75% off. so. Um, I definitely was going to snag multiples of this one um, because I like to purchase them in case I come across something um, that maybe I really enjoy that scent a bit more and I could exchange um, for that. So I like when they mark down the candles to 75% off. I do like to pick them up to save a buck. Um, and then later, if I come across something that I really like more, or just giving them out as gifts as well um, is great too. So that's my reasons for picking up Bahama Fizz is because mainly it was a sale candle. It definitely was not due to the artwork or the packaging. Um, the candle wax color, like I mentioned, it looks okay. It's just a light uh, tinted blue, like a really light baby blue. And um, also the actual scent notes, I do enjoy kiwi scented fragrances and there's no banana note in here. So I enjoy kiwi and pineapple. So from the reviews that I've seen, um, they said that, you know, you can really smell the island pineapple. So let's give it a sniff. This will be my first time smelling this one. And yeah. It's a summer scent. It's, um, I don't know why I'm getting, I'm getting a, a creamy rum note. I picked that up. Um, that's pretty strong. So you definitely get the creamy, um, pineapple rum note. Mm, this one actually smells good. Uh, yeah, this one actually smells good and I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this one. I have other pineapple scented candles, but I don't have like a pineapple rum scented candle that I can recall. I, I don't. So this one actually smells good besides, um, the sticker I'm not crazy about it but that's okay but this candle smells good it does so yeah I picked up a couple of these at six dollars and a couple um, it wasn't more than six dollars and like 50 cents so it's like six dollars and let me look at my receipt yeah six twelve to be exact so I also, here's another Bahama Fizz there that I'm not gonna take out the box. 
are these all yeah this is another bahama fizz here another bahama fizz i'm so glad that i picked up multiples of bahama fizz because there are many mixed reviews um, about this candle um but smelling it on cold it definitely smells delicious it smells like a juicy kiwi pineapple so this is another bahama fizz as well and that's everything for that box Everything is so nicely packed. Um, I'm not sure who packed this particular um, delivery, but it's nicely packed and I like that. So these are indeed more candles. You see how nicely they pack that? They really put some thought process into that. Okay, so I've got four candles here. Yep, so these are more Bahama fizzes. I picked up, and they're really in here too. There we go. So yeah, here's another Bahama fizz. All of these Bahama fizz, I don't know what they pack, they package this one. not in there the correct way where the label shows through the window there yes I be paying attention so it makes it not fit in there very easily there we go so yeah that is another Bahama Fizz candle I'm going to burn the heck out of these um, the rest um, the, of this summer. <laughs> I'm going to burn the heck out of those because it's got pineapple in it. So, yeah, those are going to get burnt and warmed fast. And, yes, this is another Bahama Fizz. These are in here so tight. There we go. Another Bahama Fizz there. And this other one, I'm assuming it's another Bahama Fizz. Yeah, it is. So I'll leave that one in the box as well. And we're going to move on to the next box here. Some wildflowers and body care that I picked up. Um, let's take that out of there. So I picked up some 75% off wallflowers and I snagged bubbly rose, which is a fruity, happy scent. I love the candle, it smells delicious. Here are the scent notes pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange splash of cranberry juice. And I'm hoping that the wallflowers are um, pretty strong in the scent. In the candle, the actual throw, I wish it was like really stronger, but it, it's such a pleasant scent. It, it does smell very delicious. I just wish the throw was like a nine or a 10 for bubbly rosé. Like it would just really turn that candle up. But um, I wanted to try it out in the wallflower to see if I could get a stronger scent. So at 75% off, that was a good deal. So I picked up, let's see, maybe five, yeah, of the bubbly rosé. Let's see there. And here's another one. And I like the actual liquid color on these. That's pretty pinky rose color. That's pretty. 
And I also redeemed a free reward for um, the new Marigold and Cane Sugar. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist. And I actually do like the packaging for this collection. Um, it's really like um, luxury, high-end looking. Seriously, it, it really does look very fancy. It has very, um, the sticker on the mist is textured and the artwork is just very fancy. I do like it a lot. So the marigold and cane sugar, the notes are golden citrus, sunshine marigold, cane sugar, warm amber. And the reason why I wanted to pick this one up is because I did get a chance to smell it in store and I did like it. I like the wear on my skin. It dries down to a nice, sweet, brown sugar, floral scent. It is nice. Um, it does, it has that golden floral note. What is it? It says golden citrus, but if you know what a marigold smells like, which is floral, it's a warm floral. So you get that golden marigold. It's slightly citrusy, but this one I like because it's not overly floral. The dry down, definitely you're gonna get like sweet brown sugar. You do still get a hint of the marigold that's there, but it's a warm, subtle floral. I love this collection and I will have to show you what I picked up in store as well as part of this collection. So for a free item, I decided to go ahead and snag this baby because she smells warm and pretty. And she reminds me a lot of the, what is it? The sunflower scent from Bath and Body Works that they came out with maybe last fall. Um, it's very warm like that one. It does not smell the same, but it has a warm floral note. This one, I smell like brown sugar. It smells so good. And also the amber. So this one is nice and it lasts pretty decent on the skin. So happy to have that one. Okay, so this is the last of my semi-annual sale. I picked up three more of the candied violet sorbet creams because this collection just went up in smoke during SAS. So <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I stocked up on this baby because it smells so good. I'm not gonna go on and on about candied violet sorbet. I've, I've shared this, I've talked about this enough I love it. Yeah, so I picked up three more of the creams at 75% off. Let's see if you can see those scent notes. There you go. So, yeah, it's, sorry guys, $14.50. So 75% off of that. I definitely wanted to pick up um, a few more of these. Okay, so that's everything for that box. And for my in-store purchase, I wanna show you all what I picked up. So I picked up the Marigold and Cane Sugar in the shower gel, and this smells good. The Golden Citrus Sunshine Marigold Cane Sugar Warm Amber. And like I mentioned, I do like this collection a lot. The artwork is very fancy. Someone mentioned that this collection um, does remind them of like Joe Malone and um, it does, I, I must agree. It does, um, it's very fancy. So I picked up two shower gels and also another spray. So that's everything for this haul, you guys. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on Bahama Fizz? 
have you guys warmed it or burned it what's the throw like on that i'm curious to start burning bahama fizz asap um, but i'm not sure if i want to start on the warmer or just light it up but it does smell delicious on cold so i'm hoping that it throws pretty decent for me um, i do want to show you what i'm burning which is deep blue sea and this is one of my favorite candles from bath and body works um, just a nice fresh clean scent and it's beautiful burning and it has continued to burn just beautifully as you can see there yeah so i highly recommend deep blue sea if you haven't gotten a chance to try that one it's a beautiful unisex scented candle so leave me some comments down below guys be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and also thumbs up and i'll talk to you all in my next video bye